Hello, in this video, I will be showing you why you should never use the USB ports of any Chinese based extension ports and uh, what are the possible risk factors that might damage your devices if you use this USB port for either powering up your 5 volt devices or charging your mobile phones right so in order to uh, present you the circuit of this board we have to open this uh, extension board so now I am going to open it so that we can have a look on the actual circuit of these USB ports right so let's begin So the first top cover uh, is finally removed and uh, here as you can expect from any uh, cheap Chinese product uh, the quality of wire and the type of soldering that has been done on this is really poor and uh, you can see the uh, earth wire that is not even connected on these ports they didn't even bother to solder the earth wire on these uh, earth connectors also all the uh, joints they are uh, left without any insulation uh, so there is also a risk of uh, uh, you can say short circuit in case any wire gets heat up so one of the uh, drawback or you can say the uh, disadvantage of using or buying these uh, cheap extension boards is that you are actually uh, creating a risk factor on your devices that will be connected to the such extension boards now the next step that uh, for which i am making this video is uh, this uh, usb uh, 5 volt usb adopter that we are expecting that this is a very cheap quality uh, based uh, 5 volt uh, source so for uh, checking the circuit we have to open these two screws so let me open it all right so whenever you are working on any type of uh, 220 to uh, 5 volt adopter or 12 volt adopter or uh, in simple case uh, whenever you are working on AC to DC circuits uh, make sure not to touch any of these points uh, because if there is any charge left in the capacitor then uh, there is a possibility that you are going to get a shock right all right so here is the actual circuit that uh, i wanted to show you uh, why these uh, usb ports are uh, not good for using uh, either for powering your devices or charging your mobile phones uh, initially uh, the 220 is uh, provided at these points right these two wires are the 220 cables and uh, after that we are looking at uh, the actual IC here that is being used to uh, start the switching process on this uh, ferrite transformer and uh, a couple of uh, diode and capacitors are applied here for filtering purpose but uh, such type of uh, filtering is not adequate for uh, uh, getting a pure DC and there are no uh, say uh, safety features on these circuits right uh, if uh, the voltage goes up or down then uh, uh, obviously the input voltage might get up or down due to any uh, case and in that uh, way your output will also uh, be 
disturbed obviously with these circuits so uh, the reason here that uh, makes this circuit uh, not suitable for any of your devices is because there are not enough components for uh, filtering purpose or uh, controlling the output voltage right uh, to make sure that the output voltage is constant 5 volts and there are other uh, electromagnetic filters that is also necessary at the input of uh, 220 uh, which is also not available on these circuits uh, so I'll highly recommend you to use your uh, actual mobile chargers for charging your mobile phones or uh, getting uh, a good quality uh, 5 volt adopters uh, for powering up any 5 volt devices but not do not use these circuits right again do not use these circuits or you are going to definitely going to damage that device sooner or later because these circuits they do not last long and when any of uh, the component uh, say for example the switching circuit uh, here uh, if any of the component uh, get fries due to any reason then definitely it will it is going to uh, damage your actual device that you have connected uh, on these ports right so uh, i hope uh, you have uh, enjoyed this tutorial and uh, if you have any questions related to this video uh, then you can ask me simply on this uh, on the comment of this video so that's all for today uh, take care have fun bye bye